Magic Johnson threw Rob Polinka under the bus. Then they introduced Frank Vogel as their new head coach, and LeBron was there to witness it, but he hasn't spoken publicly about all the drama. The Athletic reported even before Magic's latest move, sources close to LeBron expressed concern that the combination of Magic's messy exit and all the negative Lakers headlines threatening to sabotage their summer, the challenge of convincing another elite star to come to town was already seen as daunting around the league. And now, these horrendous optics make that uphill climb far worse. Shannon? Do you agree with all that? 100%. Um, because as a free agent, Skip, you have to evaluate everything. You evaluate the players that you're playing sure. with, your head coach in the front office. Stable. They're going to be able to attract, even though they might not be able to get a third superstar, mm -hmm. can you get the necessary pieces to put around you that's going to help you elevate you to the next level? Skip, the Lakers are supposed to be an iconic franchise, and they are, in name only. Mm -hmm. It's run very dysfunctional now. So... I mean, what, what Jeannie Buss gonna do? What uh, 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 Jim and all the brothers, the, the, the guy that Magic said all of a sudden he was gonna have to run it by him to find Luke Walton. Yep. So when it comes down to it, you this historic, this iconic franchise, you guys are in charge, and you're not gonna be able to lure anyone unless two, three put his name on it. Mm -hmm. That's what it's come to. That is true. Your dad didn't I give you that. Your dad didn't have to tell it. Your dad, when somebody came to see your dad. They didn't leave out of there. Mm. Uh, Bob McAdoo, mm. Michael Thompson. It didn't matter. Skip. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now this is what you got to sell. Mm -hmm. The dysfunctionality. Everybody sees this. And they're like, what? Do I want to go there to food? The food might be good, but they messy in the kitchen. <laughs> no, I can't go there, Skip. I can't do that. Somebody kitchen messy, I don't want no part of the food. Mm. Mm. Now, and Rob, Skip, I think even a bigger hurdle then Jeannie Buss and Linda and Kurt Rambus and everything that's going is this Rob Palenka. Mm -hmm. Skip, I hate using the word all and ever, and all and never and every, mm -hmm. because that encompasses a lot. But I have yet to hear the one person in the NBA circle mm -hmm. say something positive about Rob Palenka. True. Just, I just want one time to say, you know what, man? Rob, no, nah, Rob, it's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not talking about the clothes that he wear. I'm talking about him as an individual. Everybody, snake, backstabber, crook, that's sneaky, right. liar. Yep. That's all you hear. Hmm. And that's the guy that's going to go be sitting, Skip, that's the guy that would be sitting across from, let's just say for the sake of argument, KD, AD, Jimmy Butler, okay. Kyrie, Kawhi. Mm -hmm. That's the guy. The lying, thieving, snake, backstabbing. Mm -hmm. how, you, how do you sell somebody on that, Skip? Yep. Good so, point. LeBron, LeBron, Le LeBron, you gonna have to be the best snake oil salesman in mm -hmm. all the world. If LeBron J, you know what? We keep saying coming back from 3 1. We keep saying all this. This might be LeBron James' greatest feat. Being able to attract another superstar player, wow. come to the Lakers, mm -hmm. given all the dysfunctionality that's going on mm -hmm. around this team. Mm. I agree with everything you just said times 10, mm. which leads me to my first big point here. This summer has to be about LeBron James. The man who can most help LeBron James right now is LeBron James. Absolutely. He needs to step up and re-involve himself in a franchise that is teetering right now. It's rudderless and, and it's careening down the wrong We street. might put the movie on hold. Okay, well you might We might to. put the movie on hold, I Jenny. About that. Because it is imperative that LeBron James effectively take over this franchise and he is capable of doing that, but he's going to have to become far more visible as we saw, at least we saw him the right. other day. And he's going to, number two and more important, have to become far more vocal He's going to have to start speaking out about what the Lakers should be, can be, will be, mm -hmm. because he has to become the new Magic. Because, look, I am the biggest Magic Johnson fan. I love him off the court. I am. The, the more I think about it, the more disappointed I get in what he just did to right. this franchise. Right. Because he's Mr. Laker. He's the number one ambassador for this team. I'm pretty sure, even though it's debatable, but I still think by a little, he's the most popular all-time Laker mm -hmm. over. Kobe, Kobe. And, and I know Kareem's up in there, but not in popularity. But no, no, in stature. no, 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 no. Okay, it's but, basically Kobe and Magic. Magic had such charisma. He still has such charisma. And the more I think about what he just did, 
he didn't just set this bridge on fire. He he just about nuked this whole yeah. bridge because, look, this Rob, is Chernobyl. Th this was he destroyed everything. Ain't nothing gonna be. Everything's radioactive look, for the next fifty years. Rob Polinka right now is the easiest target in all of sports yeah. because, to your point, nobody has anything good to say about him. So Magic can blame him for all of Magic's failings yes. as the president of the Lakers. Yes. And he had many failings because we've detailed them. Right. He had way more failings than he had successes right. as, as the, the primary decision maker. And it looked like he was losing his job because it looked like in the end, Jeannie took over and said, uh, no, we're going to make the decision yeah. on Luke Walton. Jeannie was like, hold up. You want to fire the man you never even hear. Oh. How you going to fire a oh. man you're not here for practice? You're not your See, Skip, Matt, it appeared to me listening to his conversation, and I heard it because I went back and I found it. Magic was upset that Rob told, not that he told the truth, right. the mere fact that he told somebody. Right. Oh, no, wait a minute. Were you in the office? Were you doing your job? No, because I saw you on a vacation with Samuel L. Jackson and his wife. Mm. You can't say, well, I'm in the office. Well, I don't see them. Correct. So, you can't get mad about that, Magic. You, you can't get mad about Skip, that. Well, what if this? What if, what if he said, Jeannie, I'll, Jeannie, Jeannie, I'll take the job. But I'm not going to be there every day like a normal president of our basketball operation. Pretty sure he did not say that. You don't think so? No. It's, Skip, it's hard for me to believe that, Skip. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to believe that Magic Johnson, the guy that, Skip, Magic worth $700 million. Mm -hmm. You expect him, he said he took a pay cut. So <laughs> you actually think he going to be at this job every single day when he used to be in the boss and he ain't ever in the office every single day? I don't know. I believe he told Jeannie, he said, Jeannie, look, I'm going to take the job. Now, I'm not going to be here every day. I'm one of these, I'm one of these bosses that I'm going to get my business done. It might be from home. It might be from a golf course Maybe. at the gym. Yep. But I, I'm going to do my job, but it ain't going to be behind these closed doors every day. Okay. And it's hard to do that job that way. Sure. It, it's it's, it's impossible to do that job. It, it just it, it, it takes over your whole being. It's 24 hours, yes. and I'm not sure Magic wanted to make that kind of commitment, yeah. which is why the greats have a hard time running a franchise. Yeah, well, Skip, it's kind of hard to do any job where you got to sit there for 12, 13, 14 hours yeah. when you were $700 million. Okay, and <laughs> the most telling and disappointing of all of Magic's remarks was the rambling non-answer he gave about why he didn't call LeBron before oh, yeah, yeah. or after. And it indicated to me that he also blamed LeBron for not living up to what he thought LeBron would be last year in commitment or leadership or whatever that might be because he didn't detail it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's more reason for LeBron to be so offended because he said on the shop, at least he could have called me and said, kiss my ass, right? right? Something. Yeah. Because I think that's what he thinks Magic wanted to tell him but was afraid to tell yeah. him. Yeah, you ain't okay. had no problem calling me and say, hey, bro, can I come see you? Yeah. You know, Fred, just start here in a couple of hours, let your boy come on over and holler at you. Yeah. You had no problem calling then, yeah. but on the way out, all of a sudden, you wanted to do things your way. Sometimes a man or woman got to do things what, what their way. Yeah. Oh, okay. His way was zero dark 30 on LeBron, <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. So but now, Skip, okay, on. so LeBron has been challenged here. Why, why can't he step up and start to take leadership? That, like, take over Magic's leadership. Hold on. He, he can become the figurehead of the franchise. If I'm not mistaken, Jeannie Buss said she was taking back her organization from Rich Paul and LeBron because they was trying to run her organization. Yeah. And now the very thing that he was trying to do, you thought he was trying to run your organization, he was actually trying to help because he saw what was going on. Mm -hmm. Tried to help. Now mm -hmm. are we taking it back? Yep. She even broached the subject, the possibility of trading LeBron. Yep. Be careful. Okay. Right, so and well. I got one final nuance to this. One final irony is that LeBron's newest rival on the free agent front is actually his old cohort from Cleveland, David Griffin, who's mm -hmm. now running, obviously, the mm -hmm. Pelicans. Right. And what did David Griffin say yesterday as he introduced Trajan Langdon as his new assistant? Mm -hmm. He said that they feel very comfortable that both Zion and Ja Morant are fully invested in coming to New Orleans if they are picked number one. Well, my takeaway from that was they might be offering Anthony Davis, yeah. the option of you choose. Would you like to play with Ja? Because he might prefer playing with Ja over Zion. This he just what, might. This is what I know, Skip okay. Bates. Alvin Gentry did not say F yeah for Ja Morant. Okay, I got you. But he, he might say F yes if Anthony said I'll stay.
Anthony right. ain't staying. Because okay, well, that's he done met with him. He already met with him, right? Okay, well, a lot of things could change. Uh, they the, got the number one pick. The they could man. have the best new point, the hot, hottest rookie. Let me tell you what's going to change for Anthony Davis. What? His area cold and his zip cold. Because mm. it's never, it's not about to be the 504 anymore. Mm. It's about to be right here, Skip. The mm. 323. Ain't that the area cold? 322. Two. Three, two, three. Uh, there's a, well. There's a whole area. bunch of. 310. 310. Three, one, oh. Three, one, yeah. 213. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be 504. The weather's going to change. Yeah. Well, he's living here. here in the offseason because David Griffin enough. said we've got to go visit him in L.A. to <laughs> convince him to It's already getting comfortable. Yeah. I can say you're a trip, David. <laughs> Text us. No. You definitely don't want this guy uh, <laughs> you know, doing yeah, anything no. in terms of those conversations. Guys, we got to move on because Manny Pacquiao <laughs> oh, is 40. Here we go. But he's about to get back in the ring. He's going to be And right the senator is here. <laughs> the we senator will talk to scene. him next. <laughs>